for our project, we're going to need three different file formats for our video. Uh, those three are WebM, MP4, and FLV. Now, just looking at browser support, we know that the majority of modern browsers that can uh, that can actually read HTML5 video, if we have MP4 and WebM, we basically cover our bases with the majority of the situations. As you see, uh, Internet Explorer, it'll accept H.264 slash MP4, and uh, with WebM, we have, well, Safari will do that too. While Firefox won't, it'll read our WebM. So basically, with these two formats, we get like a green, green bars all across the row. Um, now, there are other older browsers, for example, Internet Explorer 8, that is not going to accept any of these either of these rather uh, the mp4 or the webm um, so for that case we need to have a flash fallback and that's why we have the flv file uh, because that'll be for browsers that can't do html5 video they we want them to fall back to uh, flash uh, of course the downside of that is not only do they need to uh, they're going to need rather the flash plugin uh, in order to view it but uh, the flash plugin is very popular so you know we'll really by only including these three formats um, you know there, there's always the possibility of someone coming uh, to your site that doesn't have one of those three but that's such a marginal group that it doesn't even I'm not even sure it makes sense to have to uh, go any further than these three. And uh, in, in this example here, or in this web page here, you see that they have the OOG format. Um, I, you know, this format seems to be kind of losing to the WebM since WebM is is made by Google. They have a little bit more backing. But um, anyway, that's that's why I'm kind of ignoring uh, that format. So just to quickly discuss our different formats here is. A, f a video format, actually, like a MP4 file like this, has a, a couple of different components to it that that uh, kind of make it up, and it, that's that's where the confusion sometimes comes, where because we saw in in this before it says MP4 H264, so I'm going to explain what that is. Um, so a f a f a video file has a couple of different elements to it. Now, if we look at this thing. Uh, First, we see, you know, we have what we're looking at here, the actual picture. That's uh, the picture, the motion picture, the different frames that are moving that gives us what we, what we see. So that is what they mean by H264. It's just the video part. Not, we're not even talking about audio yet. Um, but that's also, audio is another piece of a video format. Um, in, let's say, MP4, we have first the video, H264. With that, w from QuickTime, the most common audio format we have is something called an AAC, and that's the Apple Audio Codec. I've seen people also put MP3s into their videos um, as opposed to that AAC, but that's kind of taking a tangent off. It, it doesn't matter because uh, the point being is that when you when when you use a converter and it puts all that stuff inside, that kind of becomes irrelevant to you. Um, but besides the video and the audio, there's some other stuff that could be in that file too. For example, closed captions. If you see a, a video that has closed captions underneath that works at a certain, uh, you know, that the closed captions are displayed at a certain time in the video, that information has to be inside there as well. And a lot of times that info comes in like XML format, for example. And then there's other data in there as, uh, in the file format too. Like, for example, you need the metadata to hold the title. Um, you need a file that actually syncs the video and the audio, right? Because um, if you have two independent files, one for video, one for audio, they actually need to be playing at the same time in order to keep the sync, right? So you don't have lips moving and the audio coming later. Um, so that's essentially what a file is. So when, when you see people using 
when they talk about the video codec and all that, um, that they're not talking about an MP4, but they're talking about the the compression used for the video. Um, and just to give you an idea, MP4 is uh, developed by the Motion Picture Expert Group, and essentially they want to collect royalties for anything that's using their video format. So. That means that a place, okay, if you're a little website that, um, you know, you don't have that many uh, viewers and you're putting video on your web page, then technically you need to be paying royalties to these guys. And you can go to their website, uh, mpegla.com, and find out more information about that. But if you're a small, if you're a small company, you're going to go under the radar anyway um, and actually an alternative to that is you could actually just host your video on a place like YouTube or Vimeo and embed it into your page because these two companies are paying royalties to uh, this group in order to have those videos there so that's that's a way that you could kind of legally do it now if your website becomes really big and uh, delivering video content is part of it or you have an app that has video in the H.264 format, you really need to contact them for licensing before you know they contact you with a uh, with a lawsuit for owing them royalties. Um, now the other format that we talked about is WebM, and WebM is developed by Google. And what WebM has instead of having um, H.264 video and AAC audio formats they have a VP8 inc video encoder and then they use this uh, OOG uh, Vorbis compression for audio and uh, both of these are they say that they're open standards but there's some debate because I know Apple kind of criticized Google uh, over developing VP8 because uh, I guess they feel that the code that they started with was was a uh, a lot like their H.264 and that just because they're developing something so similar to it doesn't mean that it's an open standard and they're kind of reusing a lot of their intellectual property. Uh, you know, here's where the debates come in. Now, why why would they even say that? You know, well, of course, Apple wants H.264 to become the standard that everybody uses for HTML5. Why? Because they're going to get royalties from it, clearly. I mean, that's the whole point of... Uh, of this, um, of this debate, and why we're using all these different formats in our file, because everybody's competing on who's gonna, you know, get their beaks wet from what's going on. Um, and the last one, which is not HTML5 related, but our Flash fallback, is you know the FLV Flash Video, uh, and this is all by Adobe. So clearly, you know, you're, you're some Adobe licensing or fly, you know, you're using Flash as a development tool for it. Um, they already have a piece of the action too in that regard. Um, now, you know, flash flash video is no different. It needs a it needs the video encoder and it needs an audio encoder, and um, it has its own. Um, what is it? The video? You know, I don't necessarily know these in depth because I don't need to. But it's kind of good to to know what it's about to read into it but flash has its own audio and video um, that they use oh I know where I found that I had that info uh, here we go they show you right here that it uses the for audio it uses a different these different uh, codecs uh, FLVs it could use any of these different codecs and the audio over here and you see as far as audio you guys remember mp3s and uh, again what I mentioned for QuickTime the Apple audio codec AAC um, just to finally tell you a quick difference between the flash FLV and the flash F4V um, these are just F4V was a newer is the newer version of uh, the flash video format and it qu requires flash 9 um, currently I like I prefer using FLVs because I think that if my visitor comes and they're not on a HTML5 compliant browser and they're using something older there could be the possibility that they're using an older version of flash I, I don't necessarily want them to jump through all these hoops to watch my video um, 
FL, uh, FL4 is going to work on older versions of Flash where F4V, oh, I'm sorry, FLV, but F 4v uh, I think you need at least flash 9 in order to view it um, and there, there's some slick ways to get people to upgrade but forget all that I, I just want to kind of give my users the least obstacles to view my video without having to update or up, get a new browser or any of that business um, anyhow this is the current state of uh, HTML5 video on the web